Hello. Happy Sunday. Happy Sunday. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Happy Sunday, everyone, and welcome to our Keto Cooking with Love live show today. Happy welcome, Sunday. everyone. Happy Sunday. Happy Sunday. Today we're celebrating, uh, we're getting an early start on our right. St. Patty's Day celebration. We're bringing you a very delicious menu. I love St. Patty's Day. I grew up in New York. It's actually my sister who goes by the name of Patty's yeah. favorite holiday. Wow. <laughs> and I grew up in New York City where St. Patty's Day is a big deal. I was living in a lot of uh, communities. My dad, when we were kids, would take it to the parade. I went to Catholic school. So I remember every 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 year we would get the, the stickers, the kiss me, I'm a frog stickers. There you go. That's great. And That's uh, great. so we're coming to you live here from Studio A of the <laughs> Embassy of Kid Africa with Love. I'm here with the love of my life. We have an amazing episode for you today, yes, right, baby? We do, yes. We're very excited. Yeah, uh, and it's, drinks, so. it's daylight savings time. Oof, yes, so maybe, I, I don't know, perhaps if people have a, a little bad. bit of a, a slow start today, um, but uh, it's daylight savings time. And uh, so. Happy Sunday. Happy Sunday. And uh, if you're, spring is, uh, is almost here. Yeah, almost, almost. It feels like it. It right? feels like it. And talking weather. about spring, I can't wait till we open our outdoor kitchen. Mm, that's Studio <laughs> can't B. Can't wait for that, Studio B. So now, baby, you want to get the ice? For yes. Baby? And for those joining us, let us know if you're on and you can hear us. Absolutely, absolutely. Okay, let We're us know. At last, we have a new computer. <laughs> yes. <laughs> after after our uh, mishap. Yeah, yes. a little mishap. All right, I'm going to get the ice. You know what else I need, baby? What else? The okay. <laughs> Happy Sunday. Welcome to Kiddo Cooking with Love. As you can see, we're, we have our St. Patty's Day episode. We're making an amazing, an amazing episode today. We're, first, we're making a little cocktail that I call a drunken leprechaun. Now, there's many, many renditions of drunken leprechauns, so you can really make it whatever you want. But of course, we're going to use some Irish whiskey in that. And, um, and then we have this amazing Irish lamb stew which we are going to braise, which we're going to cook down with some Guinness, with some Guinness stout. And when I tell you that this is mind-blowingly delicious, woo! I'm excited right now. So my baby is back, my master keto sous chef. There you go. Thank you, my queen. I'm just going to set this over here. Hello, hello. Welcome to our keto live show today. That's right. And also for our, for our, <clears throat> our lamb stew, we're going to be serving that with a little bit of cauliflower mash, mm -hmm. right? What yeah. episode did we make the cauliflower mash? On? We we made it a few. Yeah, times. we made it a few times. So it's, it's it's on it's on our channel. We made it a few. But times. we're gonna make it because it, just to re-emphasize yes. how quick and easy it is to make a potato a mashed potato like cauliflower mash, which is even better, more delicious, mm -hmm. and cooks super quick and is foolproof. So we're gonna make that here live yes. for you as well. So why don't we start off with our cocktail? Let's do honey? it. Let's do All it. Do right? we bring the glass? Yes. Yes. So we got everything here. Okay. Why don't you put those two with uh, ice. with ice, please? So we have some. We're actually using a stout edition of Jameson's whiskey. This one is finished in uh in. Uh, you're so happy that I have this on, right? You're so happy. Yeah, I haven't taken it off yet. Yeah. <laughs> All right, it's a. It, this is a stout edition. So the, this whiskey is finished in craft beer barrels. Yum. All right, so it's gonna add some nice dark uh, notes to the whiskey. And let me get a couple of glasses here. To give it a little bit of tint and make it green, we're going to use a touch, just a touch of blue curacao. Just a little hint of just it. Just a little hint of it. Let me actually get this out of the way for you. Hey, okay, guys. If you're on right. with us, happy so, so Sunday. Friends, that's right. Happy Sunday. Happy Sunday to everyone. And then we have our keto simple syrup, which, like, is all, as always, is two parts water. So one part. Thank you, baby. Yeah. So one part our keto friendly sweetener. So we have that as well. And the fresh squeezed lemon juice that my love just squeezed. All right, so let's get our cups. Are these the right cups for my? Yes, these okay. are the right cups. So let's get some ice in here. Mr. Woofie's ready. Mr. Woofie's <laughs> ready. He's already on standby. So let's see if anyone's on. Happy let's, Sunday. Yeah, if you're joining us, say hello. If you're joining us, yeah, do say hello. And welcome to our Keto Cooking with Love. And let us know what you'll be doing on St. Patty's Day, how you'll be celebrated, you know? I was telling my love that in New York, St. Patty's Day is like the Irish Cinco de Mayo. Everyone turns up. 
like from 8 a.m. the mm -hmm. bars are open people okay. are drinking they were green turning beer off yesterday. absolutely, I mean, before, absolutely. Yes. actually we we're driving around philly last night and someone handed us a big jug of yeah. wine for free they were all dressed up in their saint patty's day garb outside we're not gonna name the bar but we were driving through through center city and someone just like is this your birthday? And we're like, every day is our birthday. And they just handed us a big and jug I'm of like, wine. And I'm like, I'll take it, of course. And all their friends were like, no, as we drove <laughs> off with a big jug of wine. It's still in the car. Oh, it, oh we never yes. brought it in. Yes, so I was driving around with it this morning. Look at Mr. Wolf. Mr. Wolf. So we're, we're going to take... My little uh, studio audience. That's right. So it's we're going to take a little bit of our Irish whiskey here. I know. I felt that hour difference. Right? Yeah, I did. I think everyone's still sleeping. I did feel in. it. I was like, I wasn't ready to get up. <laughs> I think everyone might still be sleeping in. I'm gonna do a little bit of simple to balance this out. Mm. A little bit of fresh squeezed lemon juice. Let's see. I'm gonna go to add on some on. acidity. Did you go on? Wait. It's all right, baby. Oh, come on. It's all right. So a little bit of fresh squeeze. Lemon juice, and then, like I said, we're gonna we're gonna finish it with a little little splash of blue curacao. I'm just gonna eyeball it because literally, I just want to infuse a little color in there. Okay, beautiful. Now let's get this out of the way, honey. Okay. Okay. All right, so good afternoon. Turn into YouTube. We're live. That's right. Okay. Got that sheet of light. Okay. Mm. Who is on YouTube? Oh, look at that. Perfect. Is that why it's with a master chef, baby? You're my head. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to take these off. Cute little leprechaun you are, my love. I knew in time. I don't do well. I don't do well with things on my head. So let me get my mixing glasses out of the way. I'm gonna strain our little drunken leprechaun into Ooh. our glass of fresh ice. All right. Look at that. All right. Nice, baby. Ready, baby? Ready. Sometimes I'm we do ready. a fancy garnish today. You know, mm -hmm. we're just going to get straight to it. So cheers. Cheers, my love. Love, mm -hmm. you. love you. And cheers to all of you. Cheers. And wherever you are, it's definitely noon here. <laughs> Pretty good. Mm. <laughs> refreshing, it right? It, it is. It it's is. refreshing. It's a little tart, a little, mm -hmm. little pucker to it. There is. It packs a little punch. <laughs> Like a little Irishman, right? Like like Conor McGregor. Mm. Cheers, guys. Cheers. That is super refreshing. That is good. That was. You can even take a little bit more whiskey. What do you think? <laughs> Go ahead. Let's. Uh, I'm ready. It is the drunken leprechaun. So why don't we uh, get it drunk? All right, now we're about to make this super delicious lamb stew. But before we do that, we're going to get our cauliflower. Puree, puree going. So let me get some fire and I can bring my, my little stove back. So we have made this before. It is very simple. It is pretty simple. And it is super delicious. So just follow the instructions that Chef Jose is going to give <laughs> you now. It's just a few ingredients. It's uh, cauliflower. <laughs> We've got some onion here. You can use white or yellow Spanish onion, Vidalia onion, but you want some type of white a kind of onion, and then we've got some uh, cauliflower florets as well. Open this up for me. White or white onion? Just because it was, it wanted to look like a cauliflower puree. So if you put red, it's gonna, you know, impact the color. Okay. And also, so you want a white type of onion because we're making what's gonna look like uh, and taste better than mashed potatoes. But you always have to put onions. That's what that's what I meant. Yes. Yes. In this cauliflower puree, unless you have an allergy. We're definitely gonna put onions because it's gonna add a base, okay, a depth of flavor. But it's optional. No, no, it's part of our it's recipe. It's part of the recipe. Because okay. I'm a master chef. <laughs> so if you just want to make a very you know simple and basic cauliflower puree, well mm -hmm. then you can just make cauliflower. But if you want to make Ooh. the ultimate, you know, the master Ooh, chef version, 
Oh yeah, baby. That's it's a drunken leprechaun. Oh my, yeah, <laughs> we gotta make it through yeah, the show. <laughs> exactly. So that's why we're gonna tread lightly. When you see me drinking slow, now a little bit of avocado oil in here has a high smoking point. It's one of our favorite keto friendly oils. I'm gonna add my uh, onions. All right. I think some the mic is, is good here. Yep. Some pink <laughs> Himalayan salt in here. And we just want to sweat these onions, not really get too much color on them, but just get them soft and translucent and cook them for a few minutes and get them softened up. They're going to they're gonna break down very easily in the cooking process. So you're just going to soften them up for a few minutes and get the cooking going. Let me make sure my fire is not too high. All right, wonderful. Now, we're gonna let that go for like a minute or two. Would you break up, little guy? Yeah. All right, we're gonna let that go for like a minute or two. No, it's fine, thank okay. you, baby. And then we're gonna go with our cauliflower in there. Okay. Now you can add, even though this uh, recipe has dairy. If you are a vegan, you can omit the dairy. Um, it's still going to be very delicious. The dairy, it imparts a little bit of flavor, but also the enzymes in the milk help to break down. But that's just a technical thing. It's still going to be very delicious if you don't use the cream. It's, but we're not doing a vegan version. Okay. Obviously, we're making lambs too, so it's not a, a vegan recipe today. But you could make this high flour puree uh, vegan. vegan. And, I, and I would absolutely you know, use these onions. All right. And we do have a lot of um, vegan, friends that, vegan, that, yeah. that, are, that are vegan, yeah. that do keto. And family. So now I'm going to add my cauliflower here and get that all coated with the so oil. So who's joining us today? Who is yeah, let's see who's who on. is on with us? I'm telling you, everyone is sleeping. It's the daylight <laughs> savings time. And I think, listen, judging by how, how the city looked last night, I think people might still be slowly waking up. Slowly from, transitioning. From because Philadelphia, at least we're in Philly. Philadelphia was on fire last night. The city was absolutely on fire in a in a in a good way. <laughs> All right, so just a little bit of oil because I'm adding a little bit of time. You can always add more. And I didn't bring my kitchen towel. You that's need me to okay, grab please. Thank towel. you, but that's okay because I have these. All right. Hey, Mr. Wolf. Mr. Wolfie, our doggy is uh, in the corner, hoping to get something. We'll see. We'll see what you get today, Mr. Wolf. Now, this cauliflower puree cooks very easily. So we've got our onions in here. We got our cauliflower. That's getting soft. And to that, I'm going to add a little bit of stock. Is that good? Perfect. Okay. Thank you. A little bit of stock. Now, what kind of stock is that? This happens to be beef. Because we're we'll using we'll use that for our braise, um, for, our, for our lamb stew. Mm -hmm. So you can use chicken stock. You can just use water. You're doing the vegan version. Okay? Um, and then we're going to add a little bit. Well, they have vegetable one, too. That's right. So That's they can right. use the vegetable. So you have so those options. A little, of, a little bit of heavy cream in here. And we're going to get this stirred. And you just want enough water to barely, to just come up halfway up the side. You don't want this submerged. In liquid, thank mm -hmm. you, honey. Yeah. It's not going to be submerged in liquid. We just wanted to cover up like mostly halfway up the sides, so three quarters of the way up the sides, not fully submerged. And we're going to bring this up to a boil and let it simmer for about 10 15 minutes. And just that quickly, the cauliflower is going to break down and get soft because you don't need to overcook it, you don't want to make it all mushy. mushy. Mm -hmm. So, we're going to bring this to a boil. I'm going to put it on this burner over here to the side and now I have my immersion blender so we can whip that up yeah, there. Baby, look, at, look, at, look at a look at a look at a position he's positioned we're gonna show you we're gonna show you off at the end of the show yeah so cheers baby cheers, now let's talk about this lamb stew we're gonna braise this lamb stew well you're yeah. gonna put this on that burner right yeah okay. we're gonna get it off to the side mm -hmm. but we're gonna braise that lamb stew with some Guinness. Mm. Mm. So I'm going to add a nice, delicious death of flavor. And the lamb tastes really Similar good. Similar to when we made the coffee 
Remember when we made the coffee the, the braise, braise short ribs? That's, yes. when, that's when we mm -hmm. made. We did a coffee rub mm -hmm. braise yep. uh, short ribs with a cauliflower puree that we're making right now. Yeah. That's on our YouTube channel, which you're watching right now. <laughs> and um, so this is this is going to be similar in terms of that depth of flavor, Flavors. that rich uh, malty chocolate, uh, you know, coffee notes that you're going to get from that nice stout beer. So this has already come to a simmer. I can feel it. And I'm going to get it off on a side burner over here on the... You need an... Uh... Yeah, because it doesn't work without, without <laughs> uh, butane. Look at that. Look at that. The butane burner does not work without butane. So go figure. By my master sous chef gets our butane, I'm going to start getting ready to put this lamb together. So look at this beautiful lamb that I have here. And listen, you can absolutely do this with beef. Um, one thing I wanna say, a little a little cost saving tip, because you know, being a chef is all about yielding the maximum. Thank you, baby, watch your arm. Oh yeah. Yielding, thank you, honey. So being a chef is not only about uh, cooking, but it's about how you source your food and, and saving money, right? Like a chef, I got it. A chef, you know, like a lot of times for convenience, we might we buy our chicken cut up. But a chef, you know, in a restaurant, depending on the type of volume that you do, you know, um, will oftentimes buy chickens whole and break them down. And then you can use the bones for stock. You can use the, the, the skin for, for all types of stuff. You know, you can get yield more when you're using the full product. So we have here some uh, lamb, which is, you know, diced up. But you can also, or you can use beef, um, and they sell the beef already cubed. But you want to look at the price per pound, you know, when you're buying when you're buying beef, because it's very easy just for you to buy a, a piece of top mm -hmm. round or or chuck, you know, roast, and for you and that's that's cheaper off. per pound, a whole piece or slab, and just cut just it up, cut, it. Mm -hmm. cut it up, and that's what I did here, where I, where I just got a bigger piece, uh, a shoulder, and I cut it up myself. And that way I saved about $2 per pound, all right? So- Nice tip, baby. Yeah, and especially <laughs> if you're feeding a family yeah. that, uh, that uh, or, or a group of people are entertaining or, or you wanna make leftovers, you know what I mean? $2 a pound, that's like $2 a gallon of gasoline. It's, it's a lot of money. So we got our meat over here. Let me get this pan going. Is that one going? That one is fine. Let me get this pan getting hot. This pan is heavy because you know I love a cast iron pan. And so we're gonna get this hot. We we've actually put this to many uses already. Absolutely. Now I got the beef right here. We got our pan getting hot. And let me show you what, what ingredients we're working with in our stew. So Oftentimes we use shallot. Today we're using some more uh, ye yellow onions. I'll cover that thing. Yes. And we're also using leeks. Okay, I love, love, love leeks. Leeks are just a big giant scallion. So the baby is the chive, is the skinny green the onion, and then, then the, you want me to the wrap these? yep the the teenager is the is the scallion, the, scallion. the green onion or spring onion, and then the adult would be the leek, okay? You have this big, this big humongous uh, scallion, if you will, but it's a leek. It has a little a base with a nub, and the leaves are a little higher. Now the thing oh, about this is that, it? yep. Now the thing about this is that, it, 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 especially since the one that we happen to get today happen to be organic, there's a lot of dirt inside of leek. So when you split this open, you want to spread this open and just let the water run through and make sure that you get all of the dirt and sometimes even mud out of it, okay? Mm -hmm. So that's the only thing about leeks. You want to clean them good, but they're very easy to clean. So we got some whole garlic because this is going to cook for a couple of hours. So I want that garlic to keep us integrity. You love cook, eating garlic whole. And another money-saving tip, do. right? So we're using carrots in mm -hmm. our in our stew, right? And I suggest, people say, oh, should I get the big carrots, little carrots, long carrots, whole carrots? Get the cheapest carrots. So they had the whole carrots for like one seventy nine a pack. Mm -hmm. I know I only need a little bit. Right. They had a bag of baby carrots for 
99 cents, cents right mm -hmm. and so now i don't even have to cut them or peel yeah. them or anything i can just use them whole i've got some mushroom here save time some little, <laughs> exactly a little portobello uh, mushroom Mushrooms, that we that we have celery some celery our onion and then of course we got our leeks and some fresh thyme we've got unwrap this for me yes. some tomato paste let me get this off on the side our pan is just about hot enough to start getting our meat in it i've got our leeks here i'm going to cut up the leeks got my knife sharp Ooh, that okay. fancy knife <laughs> all right so first we're gonna see our far meat. Now in a traditional stew or lamb stew, you would cover your meat with like flour um, and that's gonna help lock in those flavors, help with that uh, sear mm -hmm. and also help turn that sauce that, that cooks down, thicken a little thicken, bit. Yes. But we're not gonna add any flour because we're keto. Uh, even though sometimes we use a little bit of, of like uh, corn starch, a tablespoon here or there in some of our recipes. However, this is still going to cook down and all those flavors are going to develop and the sauce is going to thicken even without that added uh, element of, of the, uh, the flour. Flour. Okay. Yeah. Also, we have here our Guinness. Mm. All right. So. Ah, baby. Oh. She hates when I do I that. did it too. <laughs> it's like you're torturing your teeth. So. We need those. Teeth. I got strong teeth. <laughs> all right. So we've got our Guinness. And, all right, so our pan is hot. Let's get our meat seasoned up, all right? So I've got my pink Himalayan salt. I usually use Redmond sea salt, but I'm out of that today. Speaking of money saving tips, we're just on a roll today. Yeah. Shop around. So I was buying pink Himalayan salt, and I, I was picking this one from Morton's that was like uh, $5.99 for the container. And I, you know, Maybe I'm always, season. I'm always shopping around. Thank mm -hmm. you. I'm always looking all over, bottom aisle, top aisle for the best deals Sometimes. and values. When? <laughs> and uh, thank you, baby. And at the bottom aisle, I found this big uh, spice essentials, pink Himalayan salt crystal with the grinder, two ninety nine for this big behemoth. I was like, that's why you have to look around, that's shop, right. around. shop around, around, shop around. What? <laughs> Jump up, jump up, and get down. Okay, now we're getting carried away. But I got our, my cast iron pan hot. And you know I love to cook in a cast iron pan because it retains heat. We cook a lot of, lot of, lot of things in here. Let's get this nice Some and pepper. flavorful. So you okay. use pepper, mm -hmm. the salt, the pink Himalayan salt. That's right. A little bit of olive Focus. oil. Thank you, honey. Yeah. This is our avocado oil. Whoops. Okay. Let me, uh, and you want to layer this, you want to lay this in a single layer, and you don't want to move the meat around. Tammy's on. Happy Sunday, Happy Sunday Pammy. 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 She's watching us from <laughs> We love you, Pammy. Mmm. We're going to make you hungry, Pammy. Very soon. I hope you're ready. Very soon. So, let me get all this out of the way. Let me get this out of the way. Let me swirl my pan around and get that oil under everything. And you don't want to move the meat. You just want to move your pan so that everything gets coated with the oil and it can sear up. I'm going to season it with a little bit Marley, more salt. How long? How long? What's the timing So cooking you, that lamb? When you're doing it in the the skillet. So right now we're just browning it. We'll just get browning it, just and browning then we're gonna it. cook down the vegetables. We're gonna make the braise liquid. We're gonna put all that together, and you can finish that stove top very low and slow for about two hours. In our case, we're gonna put it in the oven, okay. mm -hmm. and that's again gonna go for about two hours, at about 325, um, so I can cook nice and slow. And uh, that smells delicious already, yes. right, baby? So again, today we are. Celebrating St. Patty's. Our drunken, our drunken leprechaun. Our drunken leprechaun drink. Yeah, that one is yours. Um, mm. slow. The ice melt, yeah, the ice melted down. Slow. And then we're making our Guinness lamb stew. And Guinness because we're using um, some Guinness draft beer. Right, baby? That's right, yeah. 
Oh, my love, thank you. Yeah, so we're just, we're just, we're oh, making, and then the drink is the uh, yeah. drunken leprechaun. Drunken leprechaun. Which and, you mean? And no wonder the, the leprechaun was drunk, even though it's a short drink, because this is this is a strong drink. And I just listen. This is a, a cocktail I just experimented with, and I paid with a few things in my pantry. I was like, oh, how can I make it green? Like a leprechaun. I use some blue curacao. We got some Jameson's yeah. uh, whiskey uh, because it's uh, it's St. Patty's Day. It's yeah. Irish. So and, we use uh, Jameson's A little whiskey. fresh lemon juice. A little yeah, bit so of we just blue curacao, yeah. You know, and that's the thing about you know making cocktails. You just kind of play with things that you like and, and invent something yourself. And um, now our meat is brown in here. So let's see how this is going. Beautiful. All right. This is. They make sure that the oil is getting everywhere. All right, okay. and you just want to be patient and not move the meat too quickly because you want to trap in those flavors and get a nice sear. Sear, yes. Yeah. I'm going to move right. this over a little bit. Okay, so once our meat browns, I'm going to set that off to the side. And I'm going to cook down my aromatic vegetables that like we mentioned earlier. If you just joined us, happy Sunday. Welcome to Keto Cooking with Love. It's our St. Patty's Day episode, and we have this amazing Guinness lamb stew. You can do this with beef as well. We've got some onion. You want to put back the leprechaun no. on? <laughs> but you have yours, David. You're representing. We, we have some leeks here, some onions, some celery, some whole garlic, baby carrots, and mushrooms. A little bit of tomato paste to add some color and depth of flavor. We've got our Guinness, and then we've got some beef stock. And, uh, Which you can use any kind of stock, exactly, right? You can exactly. use vegetable stock. Any kind of well. stock will work. Or, you know, the amazing mushroom stock, vegetable Ooh. stock. Oh, the know? mushroom stock. Yeah. So and that's why we're adding mushrooms yeah. here, right? To slowly develop those flavors. So look at that nice sear that we have on our on our meat. You see that? We got that nice color. Well, it's like, let it fall. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. Woo! That looks beautiful. That looks yummy. It smells so good. Mmm. Well, Nailana has smell of vision. <laughs> so I know she can smell her. She's definitely pleasing. If any teenager is always sleeping on, on, on daylight saving time. When they get one hour left to a teenager, yeah. that's like eight hours. I, I wonder if they re realized it. I don't know if she's realized it yet. No, they won't. <laughs> They're gonna wake up and be like, why why is everyone why is the why world is it, what long? day is it? <laughs> why is the world long? Okay, now so you see how our meat has brown here, it's looking nice and beautiful. Look at that. All right, gorgeous. Gorgeous, darling. Gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Now, let me get a little container. And we're going to set this off to the side. Okay? Pretty simple. Pretty easy to make. Exactly. And the good thing about this, this can be like a, a whole week of of a meal, you know? Absolutely. You, you can do this in advance, store it, and you have you can do many options with the, the lamb. You can have it with the cauliflower puree. What other elements, what other Yeah, um, I mean any any it? any keto funny vegetables, you can cook up some asparagus, you know, you can cook up some broccoli, saute some spinach with some garlic. There you go. Like this is gonna complement so, so, so yes. many things. And even though we're doing the cauliflower mash, you can just roast off or, or saute some cauliflower florets and just and then just dump them right into your stew. Or you can mix it with the cauliflower. And heat it up all together, that's what I mean. And, and heat it up all together, just florets of cauliflower. So I'm gonna set this off to the side. <laughs> Ooh, but look at, look at how beautiful that looks yeah, right there. Yeah, show the audience, show all right? the audience. Look at how beautiful that looks. Away. <laughs> that's amazing, that's amazing meat. All right, and now we're gonna get to work here. We got our onions. All right, you can actually do the asparagus and mash it, right? 
and incorporate it inside, mix it with the cauliflower. I mean, I wouldn't mash it because of asparagus is stringy, but you can just cut it up into pieces. And just mix and it Yeah, in. absolutely. The world is yours. All right, so we've got here onions, leeks, carrots, celery, right? Mm -hmm. Thank you, honey. We're going to hold off on the mushrooms. Okay. We're going to let this develop first. And we're going to hold off before we add our garlic. But definitely need some oil, some fat. The oil is a conduit for heat. So if you don't have enough oil, if you don't have enough fat, nothing's going to be cooking, all right? And that's olive oil or avocado? There's avocado oil we're using in there, all right? So, we'll try pepper, beautiful, and our pink Himalayan salt. Now. Let's give this a talk. Oh. <laughs> like I said, don't try that chef, at home. I'm not gonna <laughs> Don't try that at <laughs> home in the cast iron skillet. <laughs> unless you unless Especially you Especially a heavy one like that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But that's why I'm a I'm a master chef. Because I saw pain in cast iron. Now, we just want to break this down, let these flavors develop. All right, start to I'm gonna add my garlic in here. Whole just garlic. hold like that. Just hold. Just hold like that. Because this is gonna this is gonna cook down over a couple of hours. So I want that garlic to stay whole and keep its integrity while also still imparting flavor throughout this dish. And right. guys, if you have any questions, um, tune in and ask away. Let us know if, if anything here. You know, can we use you know another form of veggie? you know, or how to cook it. Let Absolutely. us know. Any Absolutely. questions, let us know. Absolutely. So we're starting, we're basically starting off with the base of aromatic vegetables. So we have onion, leeks, uh, carrots, and celery. Those are your aromatics, and as well as your garlic. And we're developing those flavors. Now we added mushroom, as you said before, to add that, 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 that extra depth of meat flavor. And, with you know, with more vegetables, we got some fresh thyme. Mm -hmm. Smell that, baby. I got all the time mm -hmm. for you. <laughs> Oh, that right. smells so good, yes. All right, so now we're going to add some thyme in here, and we want to get that incorporated so that that can start to heat up and release its oils and this flavor can develop. This smells amazing, right? It does. And baby, thank you for yesterday's dinner. Thank you so much. Baby, thank you so much for the dinner. So, like I said, we were, we were out enjoying Philly yesterday. It was a beautiful, beautiful day. Now, not only that, we were out celebrating also my grandson's birthday that's right. too. It was Chucho's birthday, it was Chucho's birthday. And so we, you know, had a little gathering with the family and celebrated and cut the cake. And then we were on our way after. And Nalana had her. Uh, and Nalana had her, her cheer, cheer competition. They got second place. Second place. <laughs> What's her position? What does she do? She throws people around. She, yeah, I, I can't remember the, the actual position, but and I should know this. You sent me the video, and I saw people somersaults, and I'm like, she, I she's see her the coming. base, so she holds them or she picks them up. And I know this one girl that she held her and you know her uh, shoulders, and that's and she was ooh. so happy with her makeup she's done like, and her hair in the bun. Sturdy like that. <laughs> O'Hara. <laughs> All right, so Nana, where you at? Go O'Hara. Second now, place. Good job, girl. We got uh, we got our our veggies here developing. We're gonna add, like I said earlier, some tomato paste in here to further add some depth of flavor and color mm -hmm. to our dish. So I want to get that incorporated and get it losing that raw acidic tomato bite. I'm going to add a little bit of um, whiskey in my oh, drink. Oh, the, the drunken leprechaun lives on. There you go. Get a poquito. Well, si estamos en eso. Okay, now. Now. Y esto le hecho. Some of this? Yeah, we're just making the drink live right in the glass. No, that's, 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 that's Oh, okay. Yeah. So like right there. All right, beautiful. I don't want lemon juice. I'm just gonna add a little bit of. Oh, you don't want lemon juice? Okay. No, okay. Like we're 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 getting our our drunken our drunken leprechaun going right here. Thank you, my love. 
Mm. Cheers again, guys. Cheers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that was pretty good. Mm. All right, so let me show you what this looks like. Okay, you can see what this looks like right here. So you have to add on. Oh, yeah. Yeah. All right. So now we go with our candles. So just one whole bottle of that, or you can use more than one, one depending. Okay. I mean, for this recipe, we're using one bottle of beer. We have about two pounds, one 12 ounce bottle of beer, and we have about two pounds of meat in this recipe. Um, we're also going to add a couple of cups of stock. And if that wasn't enough liquid to just barely cover everything, then you would add, you know, a little bit of water or more stock to balance that out. And then you're going to, once this alcohol evaporates and the, and the, uh, the Guinness reduces a little bit, then. We're gonna oh my God. It smells some. so good. It's crazy. Right? Yes. How's this fire? All right. This fire it smells is good. So good. Do you need another, um, no, can? I think it's good. I think it's good. <laughs> All right, so mm. oh, be careful, lady. Yep. So we've got our lamb here that is just waiting to marry the veggies and the sauce, like I'm waiting to marry you. <laughs> um, and uh, that's so our Guinness is evaporating over here. This smells so good it right does. now. I feel dumbfounded, right? I feel like in a, in a trance, okay? Because I know how delicious this is going to be. Now, I'm going to add my stock into that. Got a couple of cups of beef stock right here. And you want to bring everything to a boil because when things are fully hot, that's when you can mm. get the full flavor. Mm -hmm. So before you season something, like right here, right now, when this is not fully hot, when it's not at a boil, I, don't, I would never season it because there's a good chance I might over season it, okay? So you want to first let it come to a boil. Once it comes to a boil and it's fully hot, then you'll know what it really tastes like, and then you can adjust your seasoning. Also, because it's going to cook down, down and continue to reduce, mm -hmm. it doesn't have to be fully perfectly seasoned. It's okay yeah, because it's going to get the flavors from the uh, lamb or exactly. whatever you know, so meat you So it's going to have a... Juice. You need a little bit of gray area, all right? I want you to taste this now. This is just the beginning, like nothing has happened. Okay. But I want you to taste it so that you can understand when we have the finished product. Yeah, to me, that's good. So when we have the finished product, then you're gonna fully understand like how everything developed and became homogenous over time. So let me get this back over here, our cauliflower puree. I'm going to get this off to the side. Again, happy Sunday and happy welcome Sunday. to our Keto Cooking with Love live show today. We are, are celebrating a little bit of uh, uh, St. Patty's Day. That's right. So, yeah. All right. Now. Hence our uh, leprechaun, drunken leprechaun drink. <laughs> Just left with color. Just left with color. <laughs> okay, so we've got our meat here that we seared off. A little while ago, that we're just gonna wait for our braising liquid to come to a full boil so we can mix that up. I have here the cauliflower and onions that we seared down and we simmered down with a little bit of um, of stock and water. Now, what and kind of stock do you use? I use the beef stock. You, use you, can the use, beef. you can use chicken or you can just use water or vegetable stock as well. Okay, so I'm gonna drain the liquid from here. Mm -hmm. Because can you use this liquid to put it inside also like a not for stock? That, not no? for that. Okay. If you if you we're gonna reserve that liquid because if we need it, yeah. So make this homogenous and puree, we can use some of that or we can just use another little touch of cream. Got it. So what you mean by that? Yes. <laughs> you hear Mr. Wolf? Mr. Wolf, Mr. Trying, Mr. Wolf. Trying to find a spot. So here you go, baby. Hold this. Mm -hmm. This is the beauty of being live, everyone. This well, is how is everyone doing today? Absolutely. I know I struggle getting out of bed today. I felt that hour difference. I sure did. I did not. <laughs> I was I was not feeling that hour change, but hey, 
You gotta move on. You gotta move. You gotta move on. All right. So now we have here. Plus, we were out late too, so that kind of like <laughs> it was like a long day. Look at this. Very long day. That's our brazen mm -hmm. liquid. Mm -hmm. All right. We're gonna so you pour just that. Pour it. Over and into our beef. Okay. Mm. All right. Oh, you smell the thyme. Absolutely. You, you smell it. And that right there is the is. beginning. <laughs> is the beginning of this amazing stew. Like I said, this is a stew. So you're gonna actually put everything back into a pot, into a Dutch oven or a big pot like this, and just cook it down nice and slow. But we're gonna throw it in the oven yeah. and just take advantage of that amazing resource. We're gonna cover this with foil, and then you're gonna cook it for about two, two and a half hours at 325 degrees, 300, you know, a little bit less than under 350. So let's get to this puree, baby. That's this is so easy to do. Mm -hmm. All right. And you can so, make this in advance too and have it ready for absolutely. the rest of your week, you know? And heat it up. And do your little meal press. You can do this in a blender and a food processor for speed and efficiency. I would like to try this thing. We're using our hand with broccoli. You just mix the broccoli in here and mm -hmm. blend it all together. You just like green, right? Yeah. You could have done that. You like a, a green cauliflower. Yeah. Look at that. That's why you need to be promoted. <laughs> All right. Hold that right there, yes. honey. Let me get a little container. Okay. So I just want to know how you guys doing this week. How you guys are doing today. How has been your week? Any plans for next week? St. Patty's Day, it's Wednesday, right? That's right. St. Patty's this Day is Wednesday. Is Wednesday. All right. What I'm going to do is I'm going to transfer this in here, just to make the process of pureeing it a little bit easier because the wide base makes it a little bit harder to get everything evenly incorporated. So this right here is already like a nice, perfect velvety. Puree it does have some pieces of onion still, and that's why I want to put it into a container where I can get everything nice and homogenous. All right, here we go. So simple. So simple. Look at that. So if you're on, uh, engage with us. Let us know if you have any other ideas. If you have any ideas, you know, he's making the cauliflower puree and the, uh, what I said, that lamb? The Guinness. Guinness. Mm. Guinness lamb. Lamb stew. Lamb stew. Guinness lamb stew. So let's, if you have any ideas for your... Um, we yeah, can, exactly. you know, St. Patty's. Which we'll be making for St. Patty's. I mean, one of my favorite things. We thought we were going to do like corned beef, um, corn beef and, yeah. But then we decided to go in a different direction. Yeah. But us personally would have been very happy yeah. <laughs> with some corned beef and hash, you know? And when I was at the market this morning, I saw it and I was like, ah, it's too late to pivot. We already, <laughs> we already put out the post on everybody what we were doing. So let me grab it. Yeah, my, I mean, that's like the, that's like the uh, number one uh, meal for uh, St. Patty's Day is um, corned beef. Corned beef and uh, cabbage, right, baby? Yeah. Corned beef and cabbage. And uh, what are those little um, dessert balls they, they have, they also make? That, I don't know. They like little dessert sugary. I think they like have like a little sugar to it. That you don't know? know? Okay. Irish potato balls. Okay. The Irish, I see, I knew it was going to come to my head. <laughs> Irish potato balls. All right. So let's get some. Ooh, this is 
It's gonna be good, my love. I think every, I think we do have a bunch of sleepy heads today. That's okay. <laughs> That's the beauty of being live. You know what I mean? Last week we had like a thousand people engaging. Yeah. We couldn't even keep up with the comments. Like and this piece, we, this week we have Pam. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, Pammy is joining us from uh, her workplace. <laughs> Thank you, Pammy. <laughs> Mm. Uh, you're probably next to co-workers. Are you making them hungry too? Are yeah. we making them hungry? Can you put this up on the screen? <laughs> mm. Baby. You like? Bien, bien. Very good. All right. Very so good. if you're happy, okay. everything's yes. good. Do you want me to bring the... Um... I got it. Baby. Okay. All right. Now, let me get this off to the side. Yes. Okay. So let's show you what this... Still bring it on, baby. Life. Bring it on because you were cooking up a storm this morning. Hey, guys, if you're just joining us, good afternoon to you, to everyone that's joining us. Happy Sunday. Welcome again to our Cooking with Love show, Keto Cooking with Love live show on this beautiful Sunday. We've been very lucky to have some good weather. It's amazing. <clears throat> and here is our the finish. lamb stew. That we literally just made this morning. This morning. Okay, just to show you. And it's so that tender, we, baby. That we really have not. So tender. Have not mm. been Yum. sleeping in on this <laughs> amazing daylight savings time. Okay. Wow. Yeah. So you see how you have those nice big clusters of garlic, the baby carrots, yes. nice Actually, big heads of mushroom. I want to I wanna pick a, a garlic mm -hmm. one in there. I know you do. Mm, okay. And this can be also like a garlic cauliflower mash, you know, puree. Absolutely. Instead of being like, you can incorporate the uh, garlic and make it a garlic puree, uh, cauliflower. So good. So there's many options to do a cauliflower puree or mash. That's right. Put in some flavors in there. So let's get some of that sauce. Mm. Look at that. That was so easy. So easy. And oh. let's garnish it with a little thyme. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. And there you have Look at the that. ultimate keto. Can you see this? Hold on. Make sure that we can see this. Yeah, they can see. And make sure that we can see this. All right. This is mm. the ultimate keto. Time to eat. Ooh, That's the good still. thing about this show. We get to eat for the rest of the we're, week. We're gonna use small spoons. That's yeah, fine. You want me to get the forks? No, baby, okay. That's fine. It's fine. Yes. So happy Sunday, right, baby? That's right. <laughs> mm, so good. Let me get some of that beef, my love. My love. Cheers, everyone. Thank you for joining us. If you have any so questions, so this is me. Yeah. How tender mm. it is. Woo. It just it's just so tender, it's just falling off the spoon. It's hot. It's perfect. Mm. Oh my god. Mm. <laughs> that was it's pretty good. Look at that. And again, that you can make a big batch, you a big batch like this, and meal prep. Have different options. This right here is so yeah. good. Wolfie's like right behind us waiting. Mm -hmm. He's it like, I know it. something's gonna drop. He smells it. Mm. <laughs> you like? I love it. Wow. That's pretty good. Sorry. <laughs> mm. That is pretty good. Happy St. Patty's Day. Happy St. Yeah, happy St. Patty's Day to everyone. But this will be good any day. Definitely. Any day of the week. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> So I made it. <laughs> you burn it up. So I made it. Um, the uh, the sauce sticking like that. Is it the um, the veggies and? It's just a reduction. It's a reduction of the sauce. Mm -hmm. You know, over time, because we started off with a liquid beer, wine. If the um, if um, so yeah, so just as it reduces. It will thicken. thicken. Mm -hmm. Like I said, if you had flour when it's like a traditional stew, your sauce might be a little bit more gravy-ish, but 
So I saw you adding the uh, tomato paste. Mm -hmm. So how much tomato paste? Just about about Just... a tablespoon or two. Again. Mm -hmm. Thank you, baby. <laughs> Love, you. Love, Love you. you. So guys, that's a great question. Yeah. And uh, I think we have someone else on. Who's there? Overton. Overton. Everton or Overton? Oh. It says, oh, it says Overton, but right. yeah. Overton Hello, happy Sunday. Four. Happy Sunday. Thank you for joining us. Yes, it looks good. It tastes good. It tastes yum. <laughs> it's it really so, good. Look, he's not even stopping for. It's so good. <laughs> that I can't even stop chewing to have this conversation mm. with you. Mm, so good. I seriously implore you. If you're you. just joining us, we I, started off and we always do with our, our a cocktail. Um, cause it's always five o'clock, right? I mean, 12 o'clock. What is it? Babe? Look at that. It's, <laughs> it's called a drunken leprechaun. Yes. Yum. We don't have to wait for five yeah. o'clock to yeah. drink. You're in the embassy of Kirk and Love. Yes. Um, huh? Studio and eight. And studio eight. And if we don't drink, that's perfectly okay. Yeah. And if you don't drink, it's fine. We have a plethora <laughs> of mocktails all over, up and down our channel. Yes. And then we made this delicious Guinness Irish lamb stew. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. And beef. the cauliflower yep. mash. We use beef as well, but we seared our, our lamb and we uh, made a bunch of aromatic vegetables, some uh, some onions, some leeks, some garlic, carrots, celery. Added some mushrooms in there, some thyme, a little tomato paste for depth of flavor and color. Then we cooked that, added some Guinness, yeah. let that evaporate, cook off the alcohol, let that reduce. Added some beef stock. And then we took that in the oven low and slow for about three, 325 degrees Fahrenheit. For like um, two? For about two, fit, two hours, 15 minutes, yeah. two hours uh, and a half. It's, you know, it, it, more is, is good. Yeah. You know, less so, is not more here. <clears throat> Why the leeks though, baby? Well, it's, it's, um, it has a nice, like, another depth of onion flavor. Got so it. just more aromatic flavors. It's okay. a similar way you use scallions, onions. Red onions, you know, shallots, yeah. where it's just a different type of onion. It. So it just adds more flavor and, and a different, a, a nice it's little It's different. Profile. I never had a, like a, a stew with um, the leeks. Mm -hmm. So that was pretty Like tasty. I said, they're the big brother mm -hmm. of the um, of the scallions. So the flavor is similar. <laughs> He's just eating away. This is good. This is the best part of our job. I think uh, Mr. Woofy agrees. It's really good. <laughs> I think yeah, he Mr. agrees. Woofy. I think he agrees. So yeah, we have my, our, our little Pekingese just being very, very patient with us. He's like, I, I can smell it. I just can't taste it yet. <laughs> Here, let me move this over. Move this over. So this is Mr. Wolf. <laughs> Say hello, Mr. Wolf. Wolf. There's a million people watching. <laughs> Only a million, baby. Only a million. How was it okay? Still? How, How was, was it? <laughs> was it good? Did you approve? I think so. All right. Mr. Wolf approves, everyone. All right. Love him. Oh my God. He was waiting uh, patiently there behind us. He walking he never, around. He literally he walking around. He never gives up. <laughs> You could reject them a thousand times, a thousand and one times. You'll be there with yeah, the same so face. Yeah, so Overton says, nice, uh, late, but here, of course, and we do thank you. And thank we appreciate you. it. Listen, everyone is late today. It's daylight savings time. No one is awake. Like I said, I, <laughs> we, we, I struggle might be, getting out of bed this It might be just morning. four of us, uh -huh. us two, Pam and Overton. It might just be the four of us that are awake in the entire world right now. So thank you so much. Thank you for joining us, yes. And if you have any ideas or you... um. Uh, what dishes you know you would like for us to make? As a, as yeah, a, absolutely. Let us Let know. Let us know. Let us know. We're here to uh, help show people how to make this lifestyle practical. You know, for those that have known us, watch our story, yeah. watch our show. Mm -hmm. They've known I've lost over a hundred, you know, pretty much a hundred pounds on keto. Um, over three, over three different transformations, and um, it's 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 an amazing yeah. lifestyle. But the purpose of this channel, of this show, is just to teach people how practical, how easy it is to eat. Like yeah. absolutely everything that you want to eat, almost everything that you want to eat, yeah. can oh, be made keto. Oh, here. oh, some Ms. smell of food. <laughs> you want to come say hello to the million people? Is it the smell of food that drove you downstairs? Come say hello to a million people. Mr. Wolf was on TV right now. Yeah, Mr. Wolf did his uh, grand entrance. 
You say good morning. It's a webcam good now, so they can see you right there. They can see you right there where you're at. All right, guys. Again, if Welcome you have... Cheer. Yes. Hello. Salud. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, over to right, Salud. Yes, yes Salud. Salud. All right, so it's time to feel it looks yeah, like. Yeah, so are we oh, we're done, huh? That's, That's that right. Pretty, Listen. Pretty easy, quick meal. And again, you can make this today and have it for the rest of the week. Different options. You can have it with salad, you know, cauliflower, mash. There's not a uh, cauliflower mash. There's not a bad thing that's going to go. That's the beauty about keto. It's, it's very simple and straightforward. You don't have to think about parents. You can have whatever protein meats you like whether it's meat pork chicken um a uh, fish you can even fish. put it in a lettuce wrap you, absolutely. how about that absolutely right amazing i love that you can shred the, the lamb and make a nice little lettuce wrap you can make Forget tacos that. tacos <laughs> the list goes on so guys get to cooking that's right thank you so much for joining us it's a pleasure being with you here this week. We'll be back next week with another amazing episode. Again, like my love said, if you have any uh, requests, things that you want to see us do, drop it in the comments below. If you enjoyed this episode, hit the like button. Hit the like button. If you didn't enjoy this episode, hit the <laughs> not like button. Listen, as long as you do something, and we appreciate it. Let us know how you feel. Subscribe or subscribe. hit that notification button. That's that right. way, every time we come on live, You'll, you, you'll, you'll know. Yeah, you'll and be uh, if you know anyone that's interested in, in the keto lifestyle and either losing weight or getting healthy because of health related issues or because they have a personal goal of weight loss, mm -hmm. please share this everywhere. DM people, text it to them, share our channel uh, everywhere. We appreciate it. It helps us in our mission of just trying to help other people, uh, you know reach that goal of, of getting healthier that's and right. as a as a consequence of getting healthier losing it's weight. It's just getting healthier. That's, that's right. Absolutely, Eating absolutely. healthier, getting healthier. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Mm. Love, love you. Me. That was really good. All day. right. Thank Have you. a beautiful day. We love you. Peace. Happy St. Patty's Day and enjoy. Be safe. Ciao. Uh, you ready to eat? Ah, uh, we're ready. <laughs> there you go. <laughs>